explain it exactly, but Dr. Devlin seems just a little bit off to me. Off how? Well, one minute he's not interested in my case, the next minute he's too interested in my case. It's just a little unnerving, I suppose. Okay, you want me to talk to him? No, thank you. I don't need my mother to fight all my battles. Yes, but... you do. Yes. Hey. I was just looking for you. How you doing? I'm... Gosh, a lot better now that you're here. I'm so glad that you came to visit. Mom, you remember Wes? He took over for producer of Everyday Heroes after Amelia left. Wonderful to see you. Nice to see you. All right, I'll let you two talk shop. I'll get some coffee. Okay. Hey, I am so glad that you came here. I, I was just, um, I was getting ready to call you. I can't wait to get back to work. Hiatus is such a drag. <gasps> is that? I mean, everybody's ready to get back to work. We, we start taping next week. Next week? <laughs> it's funny. You crack me up. You always have. <laughs> In Hawaii. Uh, did I not get an email or something? Oh, must have missed it. Okay, that's that's funny. We we we, um, we can't start taping in Hawaii next week, obviously. But I I do have some really good ideas about maybe a different sort of thing that we can do. Maybe something like Everyday Heroes stands up to her doctor and what really happens during surgery. Hospitals, do they make you sicker or not? That's a little bit off concept, don't you think? Yeah, I know. But I thought maybe it would be a good idea until at least I get back on my feet again. I don't know. We can call it a fresh approach or something. We'll have promotions deal with that. But I... I don't... Now that you're here, I know it's really difficult no, that, to get clearances and that, stuff. That's we can not do gonna something. be necessary. Um, why not? Well, you're not doing the show. What? You're suspended. You can't suspend me. I have a contract. Well, force majeure. What does that mean? That car running you down was an act of God, an unforeseen circumstance, and now the network can essentially do whatever it wants. Okay, let me get this straight. I'm suspended, not fired for how long exactly? It's just 13 weeks, depending on your health. And we found a terrific replacement. Sam, you're going to love her. Replacement? But that entire show was built around me. Well, yeah, back when you were repelling off of buildings and deep sea diving. No, 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 no. This is my show. I practically created it. Oh, Sam, Everyday Heroes is about beautiful women who dive into danger and save the day. I mean, you can't do that with a bad hip. But, you know, Tiffany, she wants to meet you anyway. You've been like her hero since day one. Tiffany, you're kidding me, right? Oh, so Kit has not missed an episode. Okay? I mean, she, she knows more about this show than I do. And we stumbled across this woman at a beauty pageant in Utah. Apparently, she graduated college at 4.0. She's been modeling since she was two. And she's like a triathlete on the shortlist for the Olympics. Oh, Hello. this is a, a beauty pageant. Oh, Tiffany, she is six foot one in bare feet, blonde, gorgeous. And she, she nailed the screen test. Boom, one take. I'm what? telling you, she, she's easy to work with, and she's just talk about clean living. I mean, this woman doesn't even drink coffee, Sam. She signs her contract. Two minutes later, she uh, runs wait down. Wait a, a contract? How can she possibly have a contract? Sam, why wouldn't she have a contract? I, is there a problem? I, yes, there is a problem. I have been replaced by Tiffany, the beauty pageant winner, who happens to be blonde and six feet tall. I guess that matters. And a triathlete to, at that. Actually, she rides horses, too. I mean, she was the rodeo queen at Pro for like three years in a row. She's won all these awards for horse jumping. I, mean, I think for the opening sequence, we're never. Then that's enough, back really, the... Wes. It's enough. You can't replace my daughter. Well, we're suspending your daughter until she can meet the physical requirements of the show. You can't do that either. Her contract is quite clear. Look, once Sam's up and running again, she's welcome back on the show at our discretion, oh, of course, depending great. on Tiffany's numbers. Do you have lawyers? We do. Have them call me. Not a problem. It's great seeing you both. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. I'll get your job back. No, I will never be on that show again. You wait and see. It's just typical. You know, I've, I've lost my daughter. I lost my brother. I can't have kids anymore. I lost Jason. I lost Lucky. And now, because of whoever hit me with their car, I lost the only thing I had left. I don't want to believe... I have a plan. First of all, the police are going to find out who left you in this condition. I'm going to make sure that person is penniless and in jail for the rest of their lives. Then, I'm going to sue the network because what they're doing to you is illegal. No, no. Listen, Wes is right. He's right. Nobody wants to see the host of Everyday Heroes hobbling around on a cane. I am damaged goods. Stop, I always have stop, been, so stop, it's fine. Stop. Okay. But it's true. No, it's not. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And in your case, you should be really, really strong by now. You are, Sam. You are. You have overcome enormous odds. And you will do it again, 
I have faith in you. I'm proud of you. And I love you. I'm sorry. I've already caused you so much pain, and now this... Lucky has the paperwork on this case been done yet? No, you're not even a suspect. And what about Sam? She doesn't know any of the details. So what if this case went on the books as as unsolved? Would that be possible? It'd be better for everyone. If I just close this case right now. 